accidents happen, and whether you're fixing up your personal ride or flipping a car that you purchased at the auction, the repair process is both exciting and challenging. Welcome to the essential guide on getting the car back on the road. First up, airbags. Replacing blown airbags might seem daunting, but it's a key step in your repair journey. Let's start with driver steering wheel airbag. On most vehicles, year 2012 and up, there are two release tabs, one on each side of the airbag. To remove the driver steering wheel airbag, just firmly press and release the tabs each side of the airbag for it to come out. And for passenger front dash airbag, it is usually held by four bolts. It is best to access these bolts through glove compartment area. Where to find airbag replacements? You can purchase them new or used. For used airbags, we recommend a website called car-part.com. But keep in mind, some states have regulations requiring new airbags only. Be sure to check with your state to stay compliant. Okay, let's move on to the seat belts. Because seat belts are just as important. First step is to pull on the seat belt to see if they are working properly. If the seat belt is locked, stuck, or does not pull out or retract properly, then it's most likely a bad seat belt and needs to be replaced or rebuilt. My airbags does rebuild seat belts, saving you money, keeping your repair cost low. One of the important things to keep in mind regarding seat belts is they may look like they're working properly and they're retracting properly, but they could still be bad because of blown pyro sensors. This is where a diagnostic scan tool becomes your best friend. Not all scanners are created equal. Make sure your scanner can read SRS airbag codes to check if your seat belt is good or bad. If the seat belt is bad, then it could also be rebuilt by my airbags to save you money and time looking for a replacement. If you don't have a scanner to scan for codes, you can use a multimeter to see if you get an ohm reading between two to three ohms. If you do get a reading between two to three ohms, then the SIBO power sensor is good and you will not get a fault code. However, if you do get a different reading or no reading at all, then the SIBO power sensor is bad and the SIBO needs to be replaced or rebuilt by my airbags. Okay, now that we covered airbags and seat belts, let's talk about airbag computer module. The airbag computer module records accident crash event history. This will keep the airbag light on because of the crash history and crash codes that are stored inside the airbag computer module. Dealerships will recommend that you replace the airbag computer module. This will cost you hundreds of dollars. And also keep in mind, if you get a new or used airbag computer module, it will need to be additionally programmed to your vehicle. And that is an additional programming cost to you at the dealership. Here at My Airbags, we have a better solution than having your original airbag computer module reset instead of replaced. We will clear all crash history and crash codes. The best part about having your original module reset is that when you get your module back, it'll be plug and play and no additional programming will be needed. Choosing My Airbags not only ensures your vehicle safety features are restored to their prime, but also keeps your cost significantly lower. Every dollar counts, especially when you're pouring out your heart and your soul into rebuilding a vehicle. You're not just repairing cars, you're bringing them back to life. And we're here to make sure that your repair journey is as smooth and as cost effective as possible. Ready to get started? Visit us at myairbags.com and let's get your vehicle back on the road safely and affordably. Because at My Airbags, we believe in empowering your automotive passion without breaking the bank.